about is <clears throat> to what extent does is the town of Rochester wanting to take possession of the Dandelion Daycare Building, which um, whether that is sold or kept for town purposes is another another decision. But the um, my feeling is I'll just start in that that it would behoove us. Well, here comes Tom. I'll just um, preamble a little bit more than <laughs> I got almost to the point here at the end, and then I pulled back. Sorry about that. What's that white stuff blowing around? It was snowing in my house. Yeah. I took the My car says 37 degrees. It should not be happening. I know. Oh, you want to have a little bit of 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 a little bit They, she said, you know, to call the Rutland office and express I did. your. And they did not call that. So uh, I'm going to do that myself tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, uh, anyway. One of the cashiers told me the same thing, and so did Dick and Larry. Said mm -hmm. that they they said it was too messy and they didn't like it. It didn't look. Well, neat. they didn't like the fact that people put up tires for sale. Or here's my services. I do carpentry. Yeah, what else is a community what board for? Don't get yeah. me going. Okay. Now. <laughs> right. okay. Thank you. And Mason, you had a question. Uh, well, kind of dovetail this uh so so monday was the meeting the 26 and the 27th of the morning everybody kind of went into action to make this meeting happen and from that evening meeting i was under the impression that the uh our uh, official news outlet would do something on it and there was absolutely nothing you uh the herald this meeting. This meeting. I knew nothing about that meeting. Uh, I, uh, I understand because you left, but you before you left, you asked for the school board to give you information about their meeting, and I guess that didn't happen. But I, Dune was going to call the Herald on the morning to make sure that everybody was. I didn't do. Well, no, well, well, so, what, so. well, all I'm trying to say is there is a transparency issue that many voters in this town, even though there's a sign at the store, there they no have no idea store. that this is happening. I'm hoping in the future that there's more ways of communicating to all the voters because in the room right now, there's more school board members than public. Uh, with the select board, you know, so I'm feeling like a lot of people don't know about this. That's all. I just want to leave that up. Go. Okay? Good. Well, Thank you. Luckily, we'll be on Orca Media, so people can still find out what happened if they, yes. if yeah. they care to. And I will I will explain that since we've gone past deadline for this week, this will be in next week's paper. Yeah. Nancy? Except I just asked Mason why the Orca Media uh, recording of last Thursday's school board meeting was not posted on Orca Media yet. Yeah. Well, and so he's got to find out. Yeah. 
right. So, so this was a warn special selection no, 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 meeting to address point. the topic of the schools, it, the town's interest in the Dandelion Daycare Building. And I was just about to say, and for you made your appearance, that I'd start with my uh, my opinion is that that it it behooves the, the town to take the building, and the town can then decide to sell it. I think that there is a, a, a big enough of an imbalance between what Rochester is bringing to the union versus Stockbridge in terms of real estate. That I um, that's that's. Um, my point now I, I understand you have uh, and with your donated real realtor hat you found someone who's interested in the property and this this would not um, preclude that from happening but I think the question is whether it's bought from the school or the town which in a way they're the same but it you know legally that's a, it would be a, a different thing so what do you guys think about that I've been to a lot of the school board meetings mm -hmm. throughout the last year, year and a half, whatever, how long it's been, it's been forever. It has. Um, but um, I do remember when the merger was drafted and discussed and pulled together that um, one of the points that Stockbridge made quite clear was that they did not want to carry the Dandelion building mm -hmm. and that if it were to be sold, proceeds from that could go to paying down the debt that they will be assuming on July 1st. And since Stockbridge doesn't seem to have as much debt as Rochester does on their school buildings, um, it seemed fair that it, we were keeping the high school building in the equation, the elementary school in the equation, and sacrificing the dandelion in order to make the merger go through. Um, so I think that for the people that were at those meetings and the people that voted for the merger, um, that was made quite clear. It may not be specific in the actual merger language, but that was definitely the tone of Stockbridge agreeing okay. <laughs> to merge with Rochester. Which I could person? speak on that, that <clears throat> the um, in the actual merger document, it does state that the Rochester School Board will seek to sell the underlying daycare prior to the July 1 merger. Mm -hmm. It does not state, though, how those funds, where those proceeds would go. I know it was indeed discussed, um, but it, in the document it does say that the board will seek to mm -hmm. um, sell the daycare. I think Stockbridge is more interested in getting it off the books. So they don't have to maintain it. Yes. Uh, we really didn't talk about the proceeds of the sale. Yeah. Harlan, well, it's just a dog yet. I mean, why, uh, why let it go? I mean, you know, I mean, I should try and run it as a daycare center, seeing so that what it was, it was purposed for and remodeled for and brought up to date for. But if that, if there's no way that could happen, at least the town could sell it and get something out of it. I mean, we've been dumping money into the supervisory union out of uh, the town funds, you know, for the uh, school thing, right along, you know, yeah. I mean. No, I, I get your point. Uh, what do you think about it? I would agree. I, you know, this, I think it's um, piece of the center of it. Probably put her up for sale. I don't know what else to mean. A daycare center is is a, is a great idea, but unfortunately, it's you have to find somebody to actually want to conduct exactly. business there. And, exactly. and, and, you know, and, and there's so many state statutes. Real paper, like uh, seven days or something. You know, looking for a professional daycare operator. I you know, have to got but <laughs> the kids all there. Yeah. Mason, your question. Uh, yes, if. We own the building as a town. We don't have to rush into selling it. We can first explore. Uh, what Harlan's speaking about is, as a town, we can subsidize getting an entrepreneur started. And this will help maybe sell real estate and have people move to our town if we have some good childcare uh, facility. So before we rush into selling the property, once we acquire it, 
we should have some serious town discussion with with the community. Um, I agree that this community needs a daycare. Uh, we, the school board, did advertise in a number of locations, not just the Herald, but um, Valley News. Um, I, I don't have the list. Uh, all of those number of online places that we. Uh, we're looking for somebody to run the uh, facility. We um, contacted uh, 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 Vermont first was first with kids or Let's Grow Kids. Vermont Let's Grow Kids, and they thought it was wonderful, but th they didn't have any more resources or anybody interested in doing a daycare in our area. Um, and Orange it, County was involved. In Orange County, yes. uh, parent-child organization. Um, really took a serious look at it and just found that it was not, they weren't going to, it wasn't going to be profitable for them. They're um, in their bylaws or in their policies, they have to have, have two people on staff at all times and they found that they just were not going to be able to um, pay the two people on staff with the amount of kids that would be able to be in the daycare. So it's. I also think that the last time that it was run as a daycare, um, one of the reasons that it closed, and help me if I'm a little wrong, was because um, they were no longer able to take children under the age of three because of mandates and, and well, there's a lot. certain stipulations. So they closed basically because they can only take three-year-olds and up, which now a three-year-old can go to pre-K. So um, the, the daycare may be something that phased out now that we've opened up pre-K and kids can go there at the age of three. It could complement because it's only a two and a half hour program at three years old. It could complement that and that was the original idea behind opening right. it back up. But it, it can't take, it, it, it wasn't able to take babies right. um, when the last time it was open. That's why they closed. Um. The actual discussion, you know, if it can or can't, isn't as critical at this time. If the issue is the town acquiring the building. Yeah, it's nice to have right. the background. Well, we wanted you to know we did yeah. our homework on it. Right, this. right. Some homework on it. Right, and we have the ability. Yeah. But the issue is not, is the town going to open the daycare? The, the issue is, is would the town um, like to, you know, purchase that? the building from the school board for um, the nominal fee of a dollar, I pursue yeah, that's what the, yeah. 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 And would they, would they, under stipulation that you guys would subdivide it? Would subdivide it? What do you mean in terms of the uh, separating from the school? Um, <laughs> yeah, we can't really sell it to you until it's subdivided. Well, of course, it would. that would be part of the, the deal. I think that we could, you know, between the school board and the town, I mean, we're, we're washing each other's hands. It's right. the, is still surveying legal fees. It would have to be, legal fees. It would have to be um, yeah, surveying things. Oh, we're good at legal fees. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a question about the, the preschool playground equipment that's presently on the property. And if we could move it to a different part of the school to have the preschoolers still have their ability to have you know, a There's playground. There's a few pieces inside the building, too, that, that should be moved out. There's yeah. Okay. Uh, a, a sand thing, a table. Oh, table. copies in there. There's a number of stuff things yeah. on there. Yeah. The, the, the preschool relies on you know that little, the little place that for the, the little kids, because the other one's a little too, too big for the smaller kids. Absolutely. So. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I, I would move that the town um, enter into. Are we are we purchasing it from the current Rochester School Board or are we purchasing it from the <coughs> board? No, it's not the unified board. Okay. It's not the unified board and, and this yeah. would definitely be uh, I think we're here asking if the, if there is any interest from the town, we would need to discuss it as a board to see we have a um, an interested party that would purchase it from the school board and therefore we, we could take that money and put it back into we could establish a uh, you know, anything, a scholarship funds or, uh, you know, support for outdoor education or, you know, it could go back into the educating of the kids, um, whether or not we, we just need to have that discussion, I would say. I think that would also uh, be a discussion of what's going to happen to the uh, school buildings mm -hmm. is important because, I mean, 
if we could be having this conversation about yeah. one of those buildings yeah, after exactly. the unified board evaluates what they you want know, from to another do. point of view you can see you know if, if we take possession of the of the paint land daycare building and then sell that building those funds could be used to potentially improve and do repairs on the school which yeah. we may move other services into so it's, it gets kind of complicated and I think there's a lot to think about Right, we I don't to, think we want to rush in the well, we, we have a deadline to sell. Well, I, I think we should retain the building first, right? I think right. the town should take it. They don't own it anymore. Mm -hmm. After right. that, the unified school district owns it. So it would be but I, I, I think that. Yeah. If the building were to be sold, could the funds from that be applied to the bond to reduce to reduce the? Um, bond expense? Do you mean right now? Yep. I would say yes, but I would need to make sure on that. Um, I, the um, uh, lawyer that I was, no, I wasn't the lawyer I was talking to. This is our financial manager I was talking to, and he um, stated that we could basically earmark that money. We could place a, a reserve on that money so that it wouldn't go into the new district. And, but it would never. It, can you can you prepay bonds? I don't know. I would need to. The, the Isn't part of the, the bond for the school. The bond. Right. The bond there's bonds for the yes. Right. right. So in doesn't it, my understanding is those are part of the what is unified. Yes. Exactly. Right. right. So. And I know that was another little thing of contention with mm -hmm. Stockbridge is that we had debt and they don't. Right. I would um, say it's a big point of contention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it's a big point. Yeah, and I think we should probably try to work off. I mean, or find a way to reduce our bonds. I mean, we are walking in there with three hundred and ninety thousand dollars in bonds, and they have no debt. And it's it's affecting our ability to be able to work together. I think moving forward, I think we need to figure out a way to um, get our debts down. And our buildings under control. We have bonds, but we also have several million dollars worth of assets in the buildings too that are linked yeah. to the table. So I, I yeah. yeah, so it's just complicated. It's very complicated. Yeah. Martha, you have well, I just wanted to point out that that um, this is not, actually has nothing to do with Dandelion, but at, when you were saying assets, that that the high school building has got things that Stockbridge doesn't have. Like we have a, a really nice auditorium that the players worked hard to help repair after Irene and um, yeah, you know, there's, there's definitely th assets it's the, yes. the value is more than the debt. so and it also it sounded like you were starting to maybe make a motion or something or well I was um, going to move to to um, have the select board express its desire to to um, take that building okay. and that still is um, I don't think we can control the school board Decision, or I don't know how exactly legally this, but I think that you at least need to. Um, the question for this meeting was: Right, are you interested? Would the town be interested? In, and I would move that we say yes. Okay. I would say based on the public opinion that we do have here, yeah. I would also move yeah. yes. So all in favor? Aye. So and again, you still would be here. You would do the subdividing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And there's a guy that helped us do it right there, walking in the door. <laughs> I just had a quick question. Um, so would it, should I say, um, and this won't be until next week, but should I say that you're looking into purchasing it from the current Rockford School Board for a nominal fee? Is that correct? Because details to be worked out. Okay. Yeah, you, um, you don't even have to. Don't put the nominal fee. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. that's not, you know, definite, but I just yeah. wonder. Harlan? Um, I was just wondering about the bingo property. I mean, it was talked about, but... Talk about for the principals and the students, that has nothing to do with the town. Oh, okay, so we're going to what the deed said. As it is at this point, anyway, as far as I understand. With what the deed said. I think yeah. that's another meeting. Yeah. So, well, is the town yeah. going to, like, be a uh, trustee for the high school students? Well, yeah. I see yeah. that, but stay the way it might personally. I'd like yeah. to see it stay yeah, that way. We need to have that discussion. I can't hear you. We, I said we need to have that discussion, but it, it'll, it's, it's not going to be today. Not on this, this meeting. 
trust. If they offered up my truck, they don't get to take it. It's a mistake. People make mistakes. You got to back up and say it didn't belong there, which it doesn't. Oh, well. Correct your mistake. Well, that's if, part of the work they have on the right, table and, coming up here. And but, the point is, is, does it have value to educating language. our kids? That's the biggest question. Does that have value in the education of our kids? Because that's what it's all about. Um, and it's a discussion that, like I said, the new board needs to have, and we're, we, it just got brought up at the last meeting. And, you know, because we do have a lot of national forests around us that's not posted that we can go on hikes in. Do we need our own property? But on the other hand, we have this resource that maybe we could do 
some you know some other activities when, there. When was the last time it was used? Right. And it's currently there's no good access. There's no good access. Most importantly, right. we have the intent of the person that donated it to the town. The, the, the principal and the high school kids could get it back into the town's hands. Mm -hmm. And again, I think that's a discussion for another day, yeah. but there was some yeah. concern that maybe the town would um, want to trade it for other property and then it would not be. What other property? I don't know what other property. Um, it's a property around septic or something for the, the with the National Forest. Somebody mentioned about that the town might be interested in trading that property with the National Forest because of some National Forest property that's in town by near our septic or oh, yeah. near the well. Near the well. well. Yeah, you're talking about the well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I guess I think that that what needs to be done is to legally explore what this what right. the intent of the trust was and what the ram the parameters in which that can be modified into the best best purpose we have to keep this pretty short because the yep. next meeting starts in a minute but mason yeah, yeah real quickly so how does that work with a merger <laughs> uh new merger board uh lawyer where is our town lawyer in that process just you know, I mean the whole process. It's school, school. I, it's 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 us losing our no, uh, uh, independence to have right. town We're, governance. We, you know, this is not happening next week. This is we have it, a it, little right. bit of time, a few months to deal with it, and that's it's why these guys are headed to another meeting right. to deal with that. And is um, someone going to stay here to? Talk with the planning board about what we take for a subdivision process. Yeah, are we yeah. six thirty, or are we doing the walk around first? I it's confusing. I'm not sure. I can exactly the walk around plan, but it's six thirty. It's six thirty. Yes. So um, I'll stay here till six fifteen. So, so 6 I think we've covered the uh, the topic of this special <laughs> meeting now. Um, the planning board convenes here now in thirty seconds, and. While they're getting set up, I'd like to request a small executive session with the select board to do with a, um, a separate legal matter. Second. Yeah. 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 Okay. Second. Yeah. So we, in we can go in. Six p.m. We can go in the other room. Just there. Yeah. 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 Y